And what can also help is ask the patient to close slightly, close just a little bit, and that way the soft tissue is a little more movable. So you can maintain that rotation to the buckle. So now I'll activate the camera over the preparation. And in this case with the iteral element, the first scan that we capture will be of the preparation. And again, the more dry the area is, the easier the scanner will capture the site. Okay, so in this case, we've captured the preparation. Now we'll move on to our quadrant scans. I'll position over the last tooth and then I'll work my way toward the mesial and maintaining a position over the occlusal. So for all quadrant situations, for a single unit prep or multiple unit prep, if we're just concerned with that lower right area, I like to scan from the last tooth to at least the cuspid or the canine. Once I reach the canine tooth number 27, now I'll rotate to the lingual and now we'll capture the lingual surfaces of the adjacent teeth first in this case and then begin working my way back to the last two. Now I'll rotate to the buckle. And on the buckle, once I rotate to this area, can visualize the buckle surfaces of those teeth, then I'll begin working my way toward the mesial. As we go toward the mesial, the camera may have less of a chance of retracting the lower lip. So you may need to use either your finger or a mirror or some type of retraction aid to keep that out of the way as we come closer to the front. And what can also help is ask the patient to close slightly, close just a little bit, and that way the soft tissue is a little more movable so you can maintain that rotation to the buckle and capture the areas that are critical to the success of your preparation and uh, restorative situation. But you can see the main things here. We started off with the suctioning of the excess saliva, and then we dried off the adjacent teeth a little bit. And after that, we place a couple cotton rolls on the lingual vestibule. That helps with the retraction of the tongue and also the absorption of any fluids during the scan. Because if you don't put those uh, absorption aids, the cotton rolls, or even a dry angle, um, there could be saliva that will then seep onto the adjacent teeth and prep during the scan and that could throw off the accuracy of your digital impression. <laughs>